Hey Plant Pals, Mike the Candy Gardener, and today's video is the hashtag TNOG 2023 gardening season wrap up. And it's a uh, way of the gardening community to uh, talk about how things went in the uh, 2023 uh, outdoor growing season. And so there's uh, six questions and then you will tag uh, five people at the end. It's a lot of fun. The question number one is, will you have a garden in 2024? Yes, yes I will. And in the meantime, while we're watching this, I got, you can look at the tree rats doing their thing. <laughs> so something to watch as I answer these questions. Uh, question number two is, what vegetable, herb, fruit, or flower you grew in 2023, you will not grow in 2024? And for me, that would be cucumber. Not that there's anything wrong with cucumber. It's just that I put uh, one seed in a 30-gallon grow bag and ended up with too much cucumber. <laughs> I thought I was going to get, get like five or six cucumbers. I ended up with like a ton. And I made pickles. I made uh, relish. So I've got that. It's all jarred up, so I've got plenty. So I won't grow that... Uh, in 2024 because I don't need it. I'll grow something else. What vegetable, fruit, herb, or flower uh, you grew in 2023 that you enjoyed the most? For me, the biggest surprise for me that I was very happy with was the Georgia Candy Roaster Squash. It's a huge <laughs> squash and there's like a lot of cool things about it. Like one of them is that it uh, can cure it, it, and uh, sit there for like almost a year or so, which is really cool, you know, to grow something that, you know, you can, uh, in the summertime that you can enjoy all winter long without having to do anything to it. Just let it sit there. And it also has a delicious uh, flavor. So it tastes kind of like, uh, like, like yams. So it's pretty cool. Cool plant. I will definitely grow that uh, again in 2024. Name a process you tried in your 2023 garden you will not do in 2024. Uh, for me, it was um, growing marigolds in the same pot as the uh, the things I was trying to, uh, the food. Um, while it did keep the pollinators away, and I mean the pollinators, it kept the pests away and brought in the pollinators. The only problem with it is it, is it kind of tickle, took, takes over everything. And so what I'll do is I'm going to grow marigolds in pots around you know I'll put them in a smaller grow bag around the, the entire garden instead of putting them directly into the pot along with the uh the food uh name of vegetable this is question number five is name of vegetable fruit herb or flower you have never grown but you will grow in your 2024 garden and for me that would be beans I grew uh cow peas this year along with my corn but uh I always want to try growing some beans and I just recently did a, uh, a seed haul where I showed off a bunch of uh, the beans that I was interested in growing in 2024. Question number six is did you share your love of gardening with someone that now have started a garden or will start one in 2024? Well funny enough that's uh, my wife she basically told me <laughs> I started gardening she had zero interest in gardening this was my thing and to <laughs> <laughs> to not bug her about it <laughs> and uh she saw the fun that i was having growing uh the food but she loves loves the flowers that we're growing and she has her ideas of what she thinks are pretty flowers and so she's going to have a whole front <laughs> this is where the bird feeder is it's going to be all all hers i'm going to redo it so that'll be her flower garden so i'm very excited to see what she does with it and the uh, question seven is the last section where I tag five people to participate. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. And it's also an open thing. So if you just want to uh, participate in the hashtag TNOG, and I'll put that on the screen, 2023 gardening season wrap up and talk about your garden and answer these questions and tag people just to keep the fun going, go for it. Uh, the five people I'm tagging are Psalms 146, 
uh, Auntie Ellen, Ellen Panky, uh, You Grow Row, uh, Miss Shirley, and F.R. Humphrey. So yeah, so that was a fun little uh, thing to do. And hope you enjoyed looking at the tree rats while I was uh, <laughs> answering them. All right. Uh, any comments, questions, leave the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.